So for this part of the question then, we've got this sequence of terms, u1, u2, u3 and so on, where any term in the sequence is equal to 1 divided by the previous term in the sequence. And we're told the first term, u1, is 2 thirds. And we've got to find then the sum of the first 100 terms of that sequence. So we've got this. Remember, this represents u1 plus u2 plus u3 and so on, all the way up to u100. And if we start filling this in, u1 being the first term, we see it's two thirds. And then u2, using this result here, is 1 divided by u1. So we've got plus 1 divided by 2 thirds, which is 3 over 2. You just need to invert the fraction. And then when we get to u3, that's going to be 1 divided by u2. 1 divided by 3 over 2, again, just invert the fraction. That's going to be 2 thirds. So clearly, I can see that we've got a pattern emerging here. When it comes to u4, we've got 1 divided by u3, 1 divided by 2 thirds, back to 3 over 2 again. So if we were to carry this on, I can see that when it gets to u99, that's got an odd subscript here. When we have odd subscripts, u1, u3 and so on, you can see we get 2 thirds. So u99 is going to be 2 thirds. And that means that u100 has to be 1 divided by 2 thirds, 3 over 2 again. Now I've got 100 terms here, but this pattern of 2 thirds plus 3 over 2, if I was just to put that in brackets, that pattern there must occur half the number of terms. So in other words, 50 times. So what we've got here then is just simply 50 lots of 2 thirds plus 3 over 2. And whether you do this on a calculator or in your head, it's up to you. If I was to just take this and turn both fractions into sixths, I've got 2 thirds is going to be 4 sixths and 3 over 2, that's going to be 9 sixths. So what I've got here then is 50 lots of a total of 13 over 6. And if you do that, you'll find you get the exact value, which we're asked for, of 325 over 3. 325 thirds. Okay, so hope you've been able to see your way through that one.